The corner press is one of my favorite overhead pressing variations, especially for people that don't have the range of motion to bring their arms all the way up overhead without arching through their lower back. As you can see here, I have a barbell wedged in between two plates on the ground. Now some gyms actually have an apparatus where you can slide the end of the barbell into a little holster and use that. The other option, the reason this is called a corner press, is because you can stick the barbell in the corner of a room, wrap it in a towel so it doesn't damage the wall, and do it that way. So you're going to pick up the weight properly by hinging back into your hips. You're going to hold the barbell in one hand so your thumb is pointing towards your shoulder. Now, you might have to play around with your spacing a little bit. Your core is going to be braced. You're going to be slightly leaned forward, and you're just going to drive the weight overhead. Make sure you press it up, and then row it back down with your lat to control it. Press it up, and then row it back down with your lat to control it. You can also do this exercise from the half kneeling position. And to get in half kneeling, it's exactly what it sounds like. You have one knee on the ground and the other foot flat on the floor. Now you can be pressing the weight overhead from the same side of the knee that's up or the side that's down. I'm going to show you what it looks like to press on the same side of the knee that's up. And again, you're going to have to play around with spacing a little bit. Make sure you're nice and tall, your rib cage is down, driving the weight up. This adds an extra element of core stability to the exercise. Row it back down with the lat. And that's the corner press and the half kneeling corner press.